Sometimes the most terrible fights happen between close friends. That was the case here. George Patton and Albion Bean, they were buddies. On this day, they were attending the Democratic rally on High Street here in the town of Candy. It was September of 1856. The rally was for James Buchanan. He was running against Millard Fillmore and John C. Fremont. But the young men weren't there for political reasons. Back then, these kinds of rallies, they were more than just campaign opportunities. They were social events. Time to catch up on gossip. Time to renew acquaintances. And in the case of young men, to interact with the opposite sex. And so it was this day. Now, George Patton was attracted to one of the young ladies there. And to show his importance, he abused his friend in front of the girls. See, he was the alpha dog. Candia Town History does not tell the young lady's name, nor does it say what kind of abuse he heaped on his friend in her presence. But suffice to say, Albion Bean was humiliated, and he was very angry with his friend. And after the rally, they got into a wagon and started for home. They lived close to each other up on North Road. In that wagon, there was, and this is important, a loaded musket. George was livid, and he told Albion so. Albion was having none of it. Suck it up, he said. Didn't say anything. It wasn't true. As the wagon reached the old number two schoolhouse, Albion pulled the horse to a stop. They were going to fight it out. George was going to be whipped, which was true. George was nowhere near as large or as athletic as Albion. George then took his musket out, and he told Albion to stand down. He'd defend himself. Or George rushed him, and his friend shot him in the knee. Albion was carried home. Dr. Patti was called. The leg had to be amputated. By morning, Albion Bean was dead. A hearing was held on the charge of murder. Charge Charles Bell of Exeter appeared for the state and J.S.H. Frink for the respondent. And the committee found that George Patton had acted in self-defense. So there, he was allowed to go free.